techniques on tungiasis. Specifically, we'll talk on etiology, risk factors, clinical manifestation, diagnosis, treatment, and the prevention of tungiasis. Tungiasis is caused by the adult female sand flea, which is called tunga penetrans. The larvae and the pupae develop in a dry shaded soils, mostly inside the sleeping rooms of house with an unsealed earthen floor where most transmission occurs. Tungiasis is a zoonosis that affects humans and animals alike. Tunga penetrans is found in tropical and the subtropical regions of the Caribbean, South America, and the Sub-Saharan Africa. Elderly people, people with disability and the children aged 5 to 40 years, particularly boys, are at high risk. Tungiasis thrives where living conditions are precarious. In this setting, the poorest of the poor carries the highest burden of the disease. When we see the signs and symptoms of tungiasis, tungiasis is diagnosed by visual inspection. The live fleas appearing as a whitish disc varying in size with a dark point. In the middle, that darkens with time and dead and entirely black, as you see on the image. The feet are the most common infection point, but infestation can occur in all parts of the body. During the acute phase, erythema, edema, disquamation, pain and itching are constant. Itching induces scratching of the lesion, which in turn facilitates bacterial superinfection even after the formation of abscess. The main transmission site is inside sleeping rooms of houses with unsealed earthen floor where the larvae and the pupae develop after eggs are dropped there. The adult female sand flea burrows into the skin and grows 2,000 times in size as eggs develop. The female flea typically lives for 4 to 6 weeks, during which the eggs are expelled and they fall to the ground. The toes, sole, lateral rim of the foot, and heel are common sites of infection and 99% of all lesions occur on the feet. In some areas, several mammalian species have been found to act as a reservoir for human infection. When we see the impact, the embedded flea induces inflammation associated with immense pain and aging. This immense pain and aging disturbs sleep and the concentration on school or work. Patients with large numbers of embedded fleas have difficult walking, often with loose of nails and disfigured and mutilated feet. People with tungiasis experience stigma and social exclusion and a low quality of life. And bacterial superinfection may cause life-threatening complications such as septicemia, tetanus, or even gangrene. In endemic areas, the mechanical extraction of burrowed sand fleas is common as an act of despair. This is usually done by the patient themselves or a caregiver. Otherwise, we should have to remove uh, mechanically. After removal of sand fleas, the wound must be dressed appropriately and the tetanus vaccination status verified and the booster vaccine given if indicated. Topical treatment with a formula of two dimeticon oils with low viscosity is highly effective and safe. When we came to the prevention and the control of tungiasis, the major risk factors for tungiasis is extreme poverty which drives behavior that puts people at risk for infection. This includes living in house with unsealed earthen floor, not washing the feet regularly and not using soap when washing. Thus, a long-lasting reduction of incidence and of tungiasis associated morbidity can only be achieved through one healthy approach integrating behavior changes to increase soap uses in daily foot washing, spraying floors with insecticides or sealing them, and treating animal reservoirs where they are infected and treating humans. This is all about tungiasis. Thank you for watching.